Titan disaster. They believe the mini sub blew apart as it descended down to the wreck of the Titanic Sunday, killing the five men on board instantly. Our most heartfelt condolences go out to the loved ones of the crew. The Coast Guard broke the grim news today after a remote controlled rescue sub discovered the remains of the Titan on the ocean floor, just 500 yards from the historic wreck of the Titanic. The initial thing we found was a nose cone, which was outside of the pressure hull. We then found a large debris field. Within that large debris field, we found the front end bell of the pressure hull. That was the first indication that um, there was a catastrophic event. But they did not find the bodies of the five men who were on board the Titan and said they may never be found because of the quote, incredibly unforgiving environment. OceanGate, the company that operates the submersible, says in a statement, our hearts are with these five souls and every member of their families during this tragic time. The men all signed a waiver that mentioned the possibility of dying seven times. CBS correspondent David Pogue read a portion of it before he boarded the sub last year. An experimental submersible vessel that has not been approved or certified by any regulatory body and could result in physical injury, disability, emotional trauma or death. The sub's designer and pilot, Stockton Rush, who perished in the disaster, is facing more criticism today. He claimed that he built the sub with the help of top-notch engineers. We worked with Boeing and NASA and the University of Washington. But today, Boeing issued a statement saying it was not a partner on the Titan and did not design or build it. And the University of Washington says their physics lab was not involved in the design, engineering, or testing of the Titan. You'll have two people sitting here and two people here and the pilot back there. When he gave this tour to a previous 